Welcome to Canadian Running Magazine's coverage of the Houston Marathon brought to you by Nike. I'm Mihira Lakshman. This is also the site of the U.S. Olympic Trials on Saturday morning. We'll be bringing you a variety of coverage over the weekend, including a race day blog on Sunday, following Canada's Simon Bayrou as he chases the Olympic standard of 211.29. Earlier, I had a chance to speak with Simon Bayrou. Uh, we're here in Houston. The race is just a couple of days away. Simon, tell us how you're feeling, you know, as this race gets closer. Yeah, it's the usual uh, excited, uh, nervous, anxious, you know, it's all of the above, I guess you can say. Uh, is this, uh, do you feel any different towards this race than you have towards previous races that you've run? Yeah, there's a lot of unknown in this race. I mean, my only marathon was a DNF, so it's, you know, it's still unknown ter uh, territory for me so I'm kind of you know figuring it out as I go and you know after mile 23 it's it's gonna be uh, you know new territory for me so I'm excited but at the same time you know I'm cautious about that too. Uh, a lot of Canadian fans are really excited to see you've made it this far uh, last year was a bit of a tough year for you how did you get past those 12 months last year? You know, it, it happens when you're an athlete. You're not going to have a great year every year. And, you know, I think adversity like that helps build character and helps, you know, with your determination to succeed. And for me, it was tough, but I think there's a lot of good that I can take from it that's going to help me on Sunday. What did you learn about yourself in that period? Um, I just learned that, you know, it's, it's, I'm not a quitter. <laughs> you know, there were a lot of times when I could have just folded and, you know, said I'm, I can't do this. But, uh, you know, I, I was determined to succeed. I was determined to succeed specifically in the marathon. And I think as many times that I was kind of knocked down last year, I was, you know, I, I, I took it hard. But at the end of the day, I, I told myself this is, you know, this is the route you're going to take and I'm going to make sure that I succeed in the marathon. When you saw what Eric Gillis and Reed Coolset did in Toronto in the fall, uh, what kind of motivation did that give to you? Oh, those guys ran awesome. Uh, like I was saying, you know, seeing Gillis uh, getting that standard by just a second was just amazing. And you could really just tell that he really wanted to get after it. And I think for me, it just fired me up. I want to be a part of that. You know, Canada right now is going through a special time where the marathon is really exciting in the men's field. So, you know, I want to be a part of that. I want to make sure that, you know, I'm going to London with whoever the other two may be. Does it help at all to, to know that you've beat these guys before, uh, you know, on the track and the cross, in cross country? You're capable of doing whatever they can. No, you know, I've never really thought of it that way. Um, for me, it's, you know, for, well, to begin with, the marathon is completely different than anything on the track or cross country. But not only that, but I've always been the type of runner who will evaluate myself in terms of what type of improvements I'm making and not try to compare myself to other people. So, you know, those guys are doing great things, but I'm not going to be comparing myself to what Reed or, you know, Eric did. It's more you know, where am I now compared to where I was I a year ago? And am I making the right steps to achieve my goals? How much do you feel that you need to prove to yourself and to observers that you can beat this marathon beast? Well, I think it's myself that I have to uh, prove to. You know, I'm my biggest critic. I've always been my biggest critic. And, yeah, you know, it's, you know, on Sunday, the goal is to run sub-211. But, uh, you know, I think what's important is to make sure that I'm making the right steps in the right direction. And I'm hoping to be doing this for the next six to eight years. So, you know, it's not, I'm not putting it all on one race, you know. No matter what happens on Sunday, I know that the next marathon I run, I'm going to be even better. So that's really a long-term approach that I'm taking to this. So it's not the end-all, be-all on Sunday, no matter what happens. You've talked about your change uh, in, in approach towards the marathon, addressing fueling concerns, uh, how else do you feel that this is different? What, what else do you, do you feel a little bit more relaxed going into this race compared to New York City or what's different about this uh, in, in your approach? I just, you know, the marathon is something that you can't really describe until you actually run it. And so I think my mentality going into this race is a little bit more mature than it was going into New York. I really didn't know what to expect going into New York, and I think there was a little bit lack of respect for the marathon going into New York, whereas now I feel like I've matured mentally in the sense that I have a lot of respect for the distance, and you know, I know it's, it's, it's going to take a toll on me, and I'm, I'm ready for that mentally. What will you be thinking about uh, uh, as you are getting up into the minutes and seconds close to the start line on Sunday morning? 
Uh, make sure you tie your shoelaces. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm not really the type of guy who freaks himself out that you know the day of the race. Usually, I'm just trying to take it all in at that point. Uh, you know, the nerves are gone. It's usually the days leading up to the race where I get really nervous. Uh, you know, that the morning of the race is going to be you know just laughing with my teammates. You know, it's great to have a couple of guys in the race with me that I'm familiar with. So it'll be a pretty uh, relaxed approach. You're going to have a, a, a number of uh, supporters along the course. It's a bit unique because your teammates will be done racing. Uh, so w how special will that be for you? Oh, it's, it's awesome. I mean, we've worked together, you know, all year for this one moment to represent our respective countries at the Olympics. So, you know, I know how hard those guys worked and, you know, they know how hard I've worked. So, you know, I'm really hoping they all come out and do great on Saturday. And that alone will be, you know, motivation enough for me on Sunday. And just to see them on the course as well is going to be awesome. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. I also had a chance to speak with Simon Byru's coach, Jerry Schumacher, who remains cautiously optimistic about Byru's Olympic standard chase on Sunday. You can find that interview on runningmagazine.ca. That's also where you'll find our live blog on Sunday morning. So be sure to follow all of Canadian running's coverage from the Houston Marathon. I'm Mihira Lakshman.